a tiny bear at my feet. She's as big as my shoe. Hi, everyone. So I have Lauren here. Lauren, do you have Hi. Instagram? I do. Hey, gorgeous grooming. Hey, gorgeous grooming. That's so great. So today, Lauren came over so that we can work on these ears. These ears are really challenging. It's a really common thing for a lot of groomers to not really know how to groom ears that kind of fold and do their own thing. So the key is when you have an ear that folds is to leave more hair to hide the flaw of it. The more hair I, I have, the more I can hide the fold. We talked about prep work. We just want to make sure the curl is out of the ear so that the, the coat is really fluffy. I love the brand Le Pooch. It's called f and I can link it below. Basically, it's like really a wonderful degreasing shampoo for dogs with greasy ears. This baby has Cushing's. Who knows what they put in the ears? Like, I don't know. But like, just getting the ears really clean and straight will help make them. Hey, gorgeous. What's his name? Phil. Phil. Hi, Phil. You can see this is folded down, and then this one goes straight out. One thing I do with ears is I start with my shortest point first. Mm -hmm. This ear goes straight out, and so I'm gonna take the length off the end, and what that does is it rounds it and makes it look tight and cozy and cute. And I'm gonna mostly use thinning shears. Okay. I don't know why I expected a big reaction. Like, mm -hmm. can you believe it? So I love the speedies for creating shape. Mm -hmm. And then I'm gonna be using my Utsumi Half Moon Comb. I actually was just online and AliExpress has very similar combs for like very cheap, like $12. This comb is like an $80 comb. Don't tell Utsumi I said that. I'm gonna start with what I know and I'm gonna start with a cute one. Mm -hmm. And then another thing you wanna do is just make sure that it's intentional. So all this I'm gonna take off too. Okay. So I'm gonna go right to the bottom of the ear like this. Mm -hmm. And immediately that's gonna pop out the ear and make it look like it's an ear, it's like face, ear. Just taking that little bit off, it's not like a heart shaped. Now it's almost like a Mickey Mouse like. Yeah. So I don't want this all to be one line. So I want it to be an intentional oval. So I'm gonna comb all this down. I'm gonna get some of this too, because mm -hmm. I want it to be really intentional in front of the ear. I'm just gonna blend this a little bit more. And now I'm using my Dream 52 Special. These are from Japan, I love them. But you can see that line right there. I'm just gonna blend it. And when a dog is panting like this, I kind of do my best to memorize what I have to trim when they're not panting. What's that? <laughs> there he goes. So what I'm looking for is a nice oval and some intentionality with each of my shapes. I always wanna make sure that I don't take off the, f the top part of the ear that frames it this stuff, because see what happens when I take this away? Um, it looks kind of open and harsh. And so what I want to do is have like something to frame the ear. I'm down if this is short. I just don't want this to be short. So I'm going to move this out of the way and I'm just going to trim right in front of the ear. Now that I have under here, now I can take the shortest length off. So I'm gonna find the shortest point and just chomp, chomp, chomp. I hope it's okay that I'm going short. Should have yeah, asked that earlier. So I'm chomp, chomp, chomping with my thinning shears. This is just what I would do if he was my dog. The hair grows this way. So I'm gonna always try to go with the grain of the coat, meaning I'm gonna point the shear this way and this way to go with the grain. And so now I'm just gonna like round and shape. I think it's cute, a cute little ear. I'm gonna still take some length off the front where it frames. What I like to do with dogs that I need to really sculpt in some shape is I like to take a little bit off at a time and then check my work and see how it looks. When I perk it, you can kind of see back here, this is falling. So I want to get this stuff, but I really want to go with the grain of the coat. So the stuff I want to get with the grain. So I'm standing on the side of the dog going with the grain and I just want to take the length off, but I don't want to go against the grain because it's going to create too much shape. I kind of like to zhuzh up with my fingers just to like, mess it up and just see where it lies. And I'm only blending the inside right here between the ears. I'm not going down too far where the ear is. Like this is the ear. So I don't wanna take this too short because this is technically the ear and this I'm blending the top of the head into the body. I like a fun top of the head. I think it's cute. There's a lot of curl in this coat and also the texture changes. If you try the f and I think it'll make a difference. Yeah. Just really judge the ears and get them super clean and then do like a nice conditioner. I like the pH conditioner from Yves Saint Bernard. It's a really lightweight conditioner. That's really nice. And just rounding. Yeah, I definitely haven't been doing a separate ear and face. I've been trying yeah. to like blend it and kind of like 
Yorkie Yorkie face. But like this could be a Yorkie chin. face too. Yeah. It's it's just a style. Yeah. And I think that when you blend it in, it makes the dog look a little like a heart-shaped head. I don't know, I just think like a Mickey Mouse situation is cuter. Yeah. That's just yeah, my I mean, style. Yeah, I've I been doing it that way and haven't been super happy with how it turns out. A lot of groomers are like, I don't know, I know there's something off, but I don't know what it is. And sometimes, yeah, you just have to like develop your eye just to see the different shapes, that's all. The grooming is just carving in shapes. He's like had a day. He had to drive here, he doesn't love the car, he had to get a bath, he's farting. Oh, I wonder if he has to go poop. Now let's do a fresh pot break. Go potty. Doug, show him how it's done. And we're back from an unproductive potty break. We tried. We did. Do you see these little fringies? I'm gonna shorten it, and I'm also gonna finesse and just make it more tidy. But this is where prep work comes in because if there's any, you know, curl, you're gonna have, you're gonna run into some issues. So once you get that, it's gonna make such a difference in your grooming. How cute is that little round ear? It's still a little messy to me under here and this is really long. What I like to do is I like to like move the ear in the way I have to just to get a good position with the shears and then go back and check my work. So I'm gonna take the end of the ear and fold the ear. And what you could do is if there's anything in the front, anything that hangs past the end of the ear. On a coat type like this, you don't wanna force it in any direction. It doesn't wanna go naturally. So honor the swoop with a swoopy coat type like this. So I'm just gonna take this stuff down. So it's just framing the ear, but I always wanna go with the grain, meaning the coat goes this way. So I'm gonna take the length off this way, just with these framing pieces. If I went this way, it would create a shape. I mean, that's that's a cute style. There are a lot of groomers that wanna just take it off this way. It's just another way of doing it. It's just a different style. And frankly, there's just no right or wrong way to do any of this. It's yeah. just whatever Preference. you think is nice. Yeah, I think the way that you were doing it is more of a natural finish on the front of it than kind of a blunt end. Yeah, I like a blunt end where I want it to be intentional. When I want it to frame the ear, that's mm -hmm. where I'll keep it more natural. Yeah. Just take this edge off. Hi. Oh, so nice, so nice. So we just do our best with a little old baby like this. I mean, I don't know if he's old, but I, d I know he has Cushing's, Middle right? age. Okay, so you can see, just look at the bottom of the ear. Yeah. So yeah, it's more just like that. But we'll do the other ear. The other ear is harder. I'm just gonna do my best. If it's folded a little bit, it's, you know, there's not, what can I do? I'll just do the same thing, but I'm pointing my shears in the same direction as I do. With this side of the face, I'll go like this, and then I'll match with this side of the face. So I just wanna make sure to keep my, my faces symmetrical, that I'm matching the positioning of the shears. And I'm just gonna start with what I know. So I know I wanna carve that in underneath. So I'll chomp, 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 and obviously like know where the end of the shear is. But you just wanna make sure that you don't accidentally cut the ear. You can play, you can do like, if even if you wanted to take all this short and leave a tuft, like how cute would that be? Mm -hmm. You can do really short intentional face, don't trim the ears. You can like do really short face, take it tight here and then let everything else grow and do a Yorkie ear. Okay. I mean, I'm just doing like a cute teddy bear yeah. situation, but you can play with some fun different styles. I mean, why not? So I'm just gonna take some of this down cause it's very bulky and I don't wanna force it in any direction it doesn't wanna go. Just the middle of the head down. I'm not trimming the ear quite yet. I'm back here because I just wanna get a better angle with my shears, but I'm still gonna check my work from the front. Hi. I'm just gonna keep finessing. It's really heavy right here. So I like to go from about the corner of the eye back, and I'm gonna get all this. And this is the framing of the ear. Okay. So I'm gonna go from here to here basically and create a U. I went up with my shears on this side because I'm right-handed. Mm -hmm. It's okay to go down on this side as long as, I mean, I could go up too. As long as it matches, I just do my best to make it symmetrical. And when it comes to blending, it's not as important as when you're creating a shape. Going against the grain creates shape and going with the grain blends. So I'm just gonna finesse, take this down a little bit more because when I check my work, I just don't want it to be like boofy and like that heart shape. I'm really pointing my shears straight up to get that nice U. And now like this stuff is heavy. So I'm gonna go with the grain and just take it down a notch. 
It didn't really affect the length. I just kind of like tapered it. Front. Mm -hmm. Okay. And so now I'm gonna just go to the shortest point. I'm gonna not touch the stuff that's framing the front of the ear, but I am gonna go to the shortest point. I'm feeling for the ear leather with my fingers. It's so funny, these ears. They are, they are so funny. So I'm just gonna go around the ear. Okay. And just get the shortest point and just start to take a little bit off at a time and just start sculpting. You're so nice. What a trooper you are. You had to get a bath. You had to go on a road trip. So now I'm just gonna match the sides. And because it's really hard to go this way, I'm gonna try some different angles because I really wanna just take this ear and round it. That said, I can't really see everything I'm doing right now. So I'll have to come back to the front and check my work. You know, I can also do it from behind and just check. And I'm going with the green to like blend this stuff back so it's not super heavy back here. And I'm just blending this and sculpting. I'm going against the grain here and with the grain here. I do think the shape is gonna be really cute. I'm gonna take my super fine shears and just take this little Fu Manchu situation off to match your other side. It was just a little bit longer on that side. I just noticed it when I was up front. It's hard to tell because he's panting. Right. So like I said, I just wanna reiterate, do your best. So now I'm just gonna finesse. I'm gonna fold the ear in half and just take anything that's laying off the front. But like, can you see the curl? Yeah. And can you see like it's a little greasy? It's affecting the shape of the ear. It looks unfinished because I think he probably had like ear medicine potentially or it could be related to his Cushing's, you know, like you just don't know. He has little Ewok ears now. The front of the ear, I'm gonna try to make it intentional. See how you can see the shape of the face, but I still have enough to frame the ear. Slowly start taking this stuff down little by little and making this more intentional. How cute are you? I wonder if there's a little Yorkie in here. Taking that edge off. Also like, I don't know, this ear isn't that folded. <laughs> Sometimes I'll blow in their face just to get them to stop panting just so long enough so I could see the shape. So yeah, so I'm just gonna finesse, but this is pretty much a cute little rounded ear and like what to do with funky ears like this. They're tough, they're floppy, but they also stick up and the coat type is wavy and it's a lot. Do you hate it? Me? Yeah. Oh no, it's adorable. Do you love it? I do. I love it. I don't know why I thought you would hate it. No. You're just being quiet, and I'm like, she hates it. She hates the short no, ears. I think it's very cute. He's just so cute, but it's kind of hard to make he him really look is. not cute. It'd take a lot of effort. So now I'm just really looking to see these framing pieces to like make them a little bit shorter, but still make it look natural, like mm -hmm. it grows that way. So I'm gonna keep finessing, but that's the gist of it. So I wanna just check my work from behind, make sure everything's blending into the back of the ear. Sometimes dogs move around and then they kind of stop caring. He'll move around and see what I'm up to and then he'll stop caring. So I just give him a moment. Cute. And this is what the client sees when they pick up their dog because that's where you look when you're walking your dog. And the tush. They see the tush. Here's our final look. Yay, and of course you got a bow tie. Thanks for coming over. Yeah. My Instagram is at Hey Gorgeous Grooming. Hey gorgeous. hey, gorgeous. Hey, you're gorgeous. You're so gorgeous. You're so nice. Thanks for watching. Okay, bye. Look at our masterpiece. Good boy. Gustav, really? He's a scene stealer. I get it. I mean, you're gorgeous too.